my friends didn't invite me to their wedding and then made me the bad guy for not attending. Posted by you slash feel and underscore left out. A friend, Greg, 28M, in my circle of friends met Shannon, 28F, about 5 years ago, and they immediately hit it off. Everybody instantly fell in love with Shannon because she's friendly and really fun to hang out with. They were everybody's favorite couple and really made our hangouts much more fun. We all knew they were perfect for each other. They both made our crew that much better. The engagement was expected but very welcome news. Our circle of friends was buzzing about the inevitable wedding. Then the invitations went out. You know those save the date magnets that people send out? Well, it really sucks seeing them on everybody else's fridge when I visited friends, knowing I didn't get one and wasn't invited. Feeling left out really sucks. But it gets worse. I completely understand how stressful wedding planning is, and I believe nobody should feel obligated to invite people they don't want at their wedding. It's their day and their ceremony, and they shouldn't have to have people there who they don't want. I didn't cause a fuss or express to anyone that I was hurt or felt excluded from the wedding and, by extension, excluded from the group. I didn't want to be seen in an even worse way than I apparently was. But one friend actually stood up for me. When their wedding came up in conversation and people talked about booking flights and rooms, destination wedding in New York City, eventually, I was asked if I had booked yet. I said, we, my girlfriend and I, weren't invited. Nobody could believe it, but I insisted that I wasn't upset because I know how situations like this can go. I didn't want to cause trouble because then the happy couple might resent me. Then I'd be the bad guy. I heard through other friends that my friend Tracy thought it was really messed up that I wasn't invited. She and I never spoke about how I wasn't invited to the wedding, but she really felt a certain way about it. So, a month before the destination wedding, I got a text from Greg basically saying sorry for forgetting to send an invite, and that they would love to have us come to the wedding. It was way too late at that point for me. I couldn't get away from my job, and I hadn't had a chance to put money aside for a year for an expensive NYC destination wedding like everyone else did. I didn't even get a save the date. Every flight and hotel, no rooms where everyone else was staying, obviously, too late for that, was unaffordable for me. I texted him back that I couldn't make it. The wedding came and went, and I felt bad about everything. I saw the Facebook pictures of my friends all having the time of their lives. It looked like a great wedding. There's even a picture of just the group of friends labeled the crew. I don't think I've ever felt so left out, honestly. It really made me feel worthless and unwanted. So naturally, the typical thoughts surfaced, they don't like you. They think you're annoying. They think you're a jerk. If you can't identify the schmuck in a group of friends, that means you're it. They think you try way too hard to be nice and think you're a phony. Then, as if it couldn't get any worse, Shannon messaged me on Facebook asking why I didn't RSVP and said they missed me at the wedding. RSVP? RSVP? Doesn't one have to be invited in order to RSVP? Everybody else got a year to prepare between getting saved the dates and actual wedding invitations. I got a text message a month before the wedding. Just as I feared, I'm being made out to be the bad guy, and I even made a point to keep my feelings to myself and play it cool. But, as usual, I didn't say this to her because I knew how I would end up looking. I actually apologized for I don't even know what, but I made a point to mention how I had spoken with Greg about it. I also made sure to compliment the wedding pictures and say it looked like fun. I did everything I could in that conversation to make it easier on her, and of course, now I feel like a total schmuck. That was this past summer, and I haven't seen them since. I feel like that's it for me in the group now. I see some of the friends in our group every now and then, but everything feels different. None of them even responded to my birthday party Facebook invite this month. I feel like things are being said behind the scenes, and I feel completely out of the loop. It felt like a passive-aggressive message that maybe Greg and Shannon never actually liked me. My fiancé gets along great with Shannon, and she's just confused. Seeing her confusion breaks my heart even more because she's a sweetheart who's never offended anybody in her life. I wish I could break it to her that I'm just the guy in the group that Greg and Shannon think sucks, but I don't know how. I feel like a complete loser who deserves this. I'll always appreciate Tracy for sticking up for me. She may never know how awesome it felt hearing that she told everyone it was messed up that I was left out. I haven't even spoken to her about how the whole thing made me feel, or to anybody, for that matter, Reddit, you're the first to hear about it, because I didn't want it to seem like I was making a fuss and become even more disliked. This whole thing just effing sucks. I feel like I don't have friends anymore. And to make it worse, soon I'll have a wedding of my own, and I'm afraid I won't have any friends there, except for Tracy, of course. How am I supposed to handle who I invite so it doesn't seem like I'm leaving people out for petty revenge? How the hell do I navigate a toxic situation that I had no hand in creating? I still feel like I'm in the dark or could be overreacting. What the hell? Commenter. Dude, you clearly tell them you weren't respected like the others. Cut them out. This is about self-respect. Find new friends. Don't look back. Ops response. Thanks for reading and responding. Yeah, I've been thinking, I guess I can have my younger brother be the best man and just not have groomsmen, considering the circumstances. It's just messed up how I did everything I could to avoid looking like the bad guy, yet here we are. I'm the bad guy regardless of anything I did. Commenter. That totally sucks. I'd be hurt too. Do you think maybe Greg was in charge of sending invites to his friends and forgot? Or maybe it got lost in the mail? I had an invite get returned to me a month after I sent it, 
but thankfully I'd sent a save the date and sent my invite super early, so it ended up being fine. But if I hadn't, one of my cousins might have incorrectly thought she was excluded. It sounds like Shannon, at least, thought you were sent an invite if she was upset you didn't RSVP. You actually did RSVP by texting Greg back, but it sounds like she thought you'd been sent an RSVP response card. Ops response. Yeah, it could just be a simple misunderstanding, but words seemed to get around early that I didn't get a save the date, and later, that I didn't get an invite either. Tracy especially made sure everyone knew she wasn't happy about my exclusion. The other friends I talked to didn't even suggest it could have been a mistake, almost like they knew something I didn't but didn't feel comfortable saying it. Only one person even spoke up on my behalf. Update three days later. I half took everyone's advice and brought it up with Tracy. She confirmed that Shannon was full of crap when she asked why she didn't get my RSVP and was just trying to absolve herself of guilt. I'm still not sure if they genuinely forgot or if I just wasn't invited initially, but Tracy said we'd talk about it more tonight when she gets out of work. Edit. I spoke about it in depth with Tracy, and it turns out Greg's best man, someone who was never really part of the gang but grew up with Greg, has always hated me, and Greg thinks I'm annoying. Shannon later felt bad about their decision not to invite me and pressured Greg to send that last minute text, knowing I wouldn't be able to make it. Also, it wasn't just Tracy who thought it was wrong that I didn't get an invite. The chatter from others is what made Shannon ask why I didn't RSVP, to make it seem like my invite was lost in the mail. It feels better knowing this because, like I said, they don't have to invite people they don't want at their wedding. But knowing Greg doesn't like me really hurts because I always thought we were friends. Turns out he's the phony. Unfortunately, everybody else, except for Tracy and a few others, likes Greg more than me, so they felt like they had to choose a side after Tracy, and a few others, it turns out, brought up why I didn't get invited. Apparently, lots of people felt guilty about this, but they still felt like they had to choose a side for whatever reason. Probably because most of them went to high school with Greg. Oh well. That's life. Thanks for the advice about being more assertive. Those of you who were polite about it were very helpful. Thanks. Commenter. Yeah, you don't need those two-faced jerks in your life. Congratulations on finding out before they borrowed money from you. When they get divorced, you can reach out to Greg and tell him he deserved it. Ops response. It's funny you bring up borrowing money because they're the type who always want to split the check when they order the most expensive stuff and always say, I'll get you back, and, I don't trust Venmo, I'll just give you cash when I go to the ATM, and then don't. On the plus side, I don't have to pay for part of their steak and lobster dinners anymore. Commenter. Do you think you'll invite Greg, Shannon, and their best man to your wedding knowing all this? And what about the friends who chose them over you? Ops response. Nah, I don't think it would be right to force anybody to choose sides because that feels inappropriate to do to friends. I think everyone who stood up for me gets an invite. Greg can have his best man, and they can be the cynical jerks they are together. Honestly, nobody really likes the best man all that much because he's always acted like an obnoxious prick when he's been around us. They can have each other. 